let's talk about while loops um there are two types of loops that we normally use in python there is the for loop and the while loop personally i hardly use the while loop uh it depends on what i'm writing but i i, I prefer using the for loop but i have to mention it so let's work on something quite simple let's have a variable count five and then i can say well um count if i can is less than is greater than zero i want you to print count out and of course if i don't if i want to avoid um if I want to avoid infinite loop, I have to remove one from count at each cycle. So let's run this, then I will try to explain what I just did. Um, stop terminating. Right, this is what I've just done. I have, um, I have started a variable at five, and then I have said while that variable is greater than zero, print that variable out. And then after printing it, remove one from that variable. So at point one, when variable is five, my while loop checks if the variable is greater than zero. Of course, five is more than zero, so I print five out, which is why you see this five here. And then it removes one from five, then from count, then count is now four. My while loop checks if count is greater than zero, four is greater than zero, then it prints out four and removes one from four. And then assign that to count. Now my count is three. And does the same thing until I get to one. Now, when count is one, and I print one out, and I remove one from count, that means it is now zero. And I come back here to check if count is greater than zero. Count is now zero, which means count is equal to zero, and then it breaks out of this loop. And that's why you have five, four, three, two, one here. So while loop works in that way, it's simple to work with. Uh, you can also have if statement like we did here. Uh, like we have if inside the for loop, it's also fine. But I'm going to leave the while loop here. And in our next, um, in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be trying to build a simple application with everything we have learned so far. So it, it, it makes it easier for you to practice even before we move on to other aspects of Python that we'll still be talking about.